When we're focusing on home safety for seniors, one of the very simple devices that we use is the chair riser. A lot of our seniors have their favorite chair that they're finding it really hard to get in and out of these days because they have back problems, knee problems, hip problems. When we put these chair risers under the four legs of the chair, it helps the chair to sit higher and helps the person to get more easily in and out of the chair and also helps to prevent falls. Another device that can be really easy and make a big difference in someone with a disability being able to do their daily tasks, including bathing, is a detachable shower head. This replaces the traditional shower head and makes it easier for the person to bathe while sitting down or to turn the water on and off when they need it or don't need it. We put this grab bar in this bathroom to help reduce the risk of falls. Falls are the leading cause of injury-related death for older Americans. So when we put a grab bar in a bathtub, not only are we helping to reduce falls, we're helping to save lives. In a lot of the older homes in Baltimore, it can be difficult to mount a grab bar onto the wall. So for many of our clients, we provide these clamp-on grab bars that attach to the side of the tub and are easily adjustable and make it so that the senior can still have that added safety protection in the tub to prevent falls. Additionally, we can put these grips on the floor of the tub that help to keep them from slipping. Again, keeping them safe in the tub and preventing falls and saving lives. Rebuilding Together Baltimore is part of a national movement of Rebuilding Together affiliates. All Rebuilding Together affiliates share the common goal of engaging volunteers in our work, making it so that helping the low-income homeowners and the communities at risk is a true community effort and helps to make an impact on communities as a whole as well as individual homeowners. At Rebuilding Together Baltimore, we receive hundreds of phone calls every year from homeowners who are in need of critical repairs in their home and just have absolutely no way to do those repairs. The more volunteers that we have who have home repair skills, the more of these homeowners we can help. An example of someone we were able to help because a volunteer team stepped forward is Miss Green. She lives in the Park Heights community. You know, when you find out you got something that came to you that you didn't expect, you can't explain, it's just a warm feeling all over. Miss Green is legally blind and she lives here with her nephew who also has a disability. So a lot of the things that we did in her home were things that would help make it easier for her to just go about her daily tasks in the home. For instance, in the kitchen, we replaced flooring that was dangerous and a tripping hazard with new, new flooring. We improved lighting in the kitchen. We also fixed a leaky sink in the kitchen, replaced her range hood there, and then also put a lever doorknob on the door from the kitchen that goes out to the, to the backyard so that it's easier for her to open and close the door. The whole thing itself is a 100% improvement. On a basis of one to 10, I'll give them a 10. The repairs on her home are actually very extensive, so we've actually been continuing the work over the last year. Some homes need work that is that extensive. Other homes just need fixing a leaky faucet or a loose floorboard. It can really vary in the range of what's needed. But for most of those repairs, we do need people who have home repair skills, often electrical and plumbing and carpentry skills, to be able to do those repairs. And the more of those volunteers we can match with the homeowners who have the need, the more homeowners we can help. It was like just having a family gathering, like a picnic. It was a warm feeling, a good feeling. And it was a proud day because you know what? It made me the queen for a day. Especially in this neighborhood, everybody looking like, oh, she's got it going on. That felt good. <laughs> Every year, Rebuilding Together Baltimore works in two target communities, one in Baltimore City and one in Baltimore County, to help low-income homeowners in those communities. But we also work year-round outside of those target communities, helping low-income homeowners with critical home repairs that will help keep them warmer, safer, and drier in their homes. I just want to say thank you for all the work you all did. And for all volunteers that came out, I want to thank them. And you know, I ask a lot of people, whatever you can do to help volunteer, it's rewarding in the end, because a lot of us need the help that we cannot do ourselves. Rebuilding Together Baltimore needs skilled volunteers all year round to help us provide these critical home repairs for low-income homeowners. We need plumbers, electricians, carpenters, masons, people with HVAC skills, and people who are just generally handy. We provide the materials. All we're asking is that the volunteers donate their labor. And by having donated labor, it helps us to stretch our dollars further, and then we can serve more homeowners with critical home repairs.